And hi there, everybody. Meteorologist Don Morello with you here on i5 of Channel 1 News. Your weather forecast is brought to you by Bud Cleary Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. And of course, it's just been darn right cold. And it is going to remain cold for a bit. Uh, we're not going to be seeing seasonal temperatures for about four or five days, but it is trying to warm up. That's the good news. But it will take about a week. That's the bad news. So hang in there, it will come back, the seasonal temperatures. The flu flurries is uh, actually possible overnight tonight and again through the weekend, but better precipitation chances looks like it's developing early next week and that'll continue off and on most of next week. So as the temperatures warm up, the moisture comes in and it could be a little messy times the next uh, week or so. Past 24 hours, 16 and three. That's all during the past 24 hours. Some of you fell below zero. In fact, Moses Lake, a new record, minus two. Very, very, very cold temperatures, of course. We struggle to get out of the mid to high teens this afternoon. That's right where we are right now with the north-northeast breeze, mostly cloudy skies. And to our south, a little moisture is coming in from Oregon. And in fact, overnight tonight, we'll see this coming up towards us and coming across us to give us a chance of a flurry. I don't think we'll see anything truly bad, but southern sections in the hills might see a little one to three inches. But the big thing is that the storm track, which has been moving well to our south through northern California, parts of Oregon, is starting to inch back up towards the north. So with time, we're going to get more and more into this slug of Pacific moisture. And with the cold air in place, that could mean anywhere from flurries to freezing rain maybe, but eventually all rain by mid to late week next week with any sort of precipitation that comes through. In the meantime, overnight tonight again, a flurry or two, but then generally during the day tomorrow, for most of the state, not too bad. The inland northwest, though, still some lingering precipitation with some snow showers around. It could be uh, rather uh, one to two inches in some areas still. But as we close in into the Columbia Basin, you can see we're looking for a partly cloudy afternoon, but notice the temperature still a good 15 degrees or so below where we should be for most sections here in the freighter. The normal daytime highs you saw is around 38, 39. Let's zoom out the next seven days. The big thing is a bit of cold Arctic air remains in place, but then you notice temperatures warming up just a little bit. It's going to take a little bit of time early next week as moisture comes our way. Now again, flurries possible tonight, and then maybe in the mountains during the weekend. More significant Monday, Tuesday morning. Could be significant icing, and then we change into some showers as we warm back up. Well, keep it here. Sports is coming up next.